What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. And today we're gonna do that segment, who the best rapper from the group, and we're gonna talk about G Unit, you feel me? The original G Unit. We ain't gonna talk about the newer people. We're gonna go back to the old days, you feel me? So we got Buck, we got Yayo, we got Banks, we got 50, and we can say Game, because Game was there pretty early on, you feel me? But we're going to take it all the way back to 2003, 2004, the mixtape days when they was dropping the mixtapes. When 50 first came out with Wangsta, when he was going at Ja Rule, songs like Many Men, you feel me? But then we also got, like I said, the mixtapes where a lot of people slept on Banks and Yayo. They was killing them mixtapes when they first came out. Buck too. When Buck came out and he came out with Straight Outta Cashville, I think a lot of people was like, Dang, who this dude is? And a lot of people were surprised that a New York dude was signed a dude from the South because it was going on. But at one point in time, it was like a rival going on between the South and the East when, like, T.I. and them came out because the South had started taking over. And a lot of New York dudes weren't feeling that because they always had the rap game. But, man, like, Yayo and Banks, I feel like they was highly slept on. And a lot of them mixtapes, they was actually killing 50 on some of them verses. You feel me? But I just feel like they ain't get that big push because 50, y'all know how his ego is. He always wanted to be the big man in charge. He wasn't going to push them to that point. You see what I'm saying? I mean, they got bread. They did what they had to do. They got some dope bangers out here. But I just feel like 50 always been the front man. Now, when Game came in, Game was lit coming through with the game banging swag. You feel me? Had all the bloods going crazy. You feel me? came out, you know, spitting, spitting that street gutter stuff. So people definitely liked Game. And I realized, though, on Game first CD, he did dope, but a lot of his hits had 50 on that, you see what I'm saying? So when Game first came out, I wanted to see what he could do by himself. But he proved me wrong because I still rock with Game. He, he definitely kept going. He he definitely had some bangers since G-Unit. So this is what it's going to boil down to. I'm going to have to go with me personally because the type – music I like, I'm going to have to go with that boy, Lloyd Banks. And the only reason I say that, he ain't get the push he needed, but the way he ride the beat, the way he rap, the way he spit, like the songs and the CDs he dead drop, I just felt like he was super underrated. I felt like he could have blew past 50 if he had that right push. But that's just my opinion. Y'all don't throw stones at me in the comments. Leave your comments below. Man, I just want y'all to know that my life episode two going to be coming real soon. I'm working on that this week. You know how to survive Baltimore part two coming out real soon too. I'm going to have a wifey on that because she got some funny experiences from y'all because she not from Baltimore. But man, if you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for uploads. Family, y'all already know it is. Check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel. Love, fam. Huh?